Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today's video is all about my current skincare empties. Um, I have collected so many empties recently that I'm actually having to break up my empties videos into different categories. I've already done my bath, body and hair care empties and I will be doing my makeup empties for you very shortly too. But today is all about my facial skincare empties. So let's get to it. <laughs> First of all, we have this and this is the Organic Surge Blissful Daily Moisturiser and this is something that I have used and loved. It was wonderful. A little bit went a very long way, meaning that this little jar um, lasted me for almost a year. And I would apply this in the mornings before my makeup and I found that it absorbed very quickly, meaning that I didn't have to wait around um, after applying this to apply my makeup. So that's always a good thing and it also made a very nice base for my makeup. It didn't make my makeup slip off my face or anything like that. It smells of kind of citrusy scent which is really refreshing and really zesty and it kind of helps to get you, I don't know, it just helps to get you moving in the morning I suppose <laughs> if you're anything like me and don't like getting up out of bed in the morning. Um, it was just wonderful. I did buy this about a year ago in a big organic surge sale when they had 75% off a lot of their skincare lines um, and this was only a couple of pounds in the sale. I think it normally retails for about eight pounds and it's pretty good value for money even for price to be honest. I more than likely will repurchase this again at some point in the future when I need a new good um, morning moisturiser. It also obviously contains a ton of really high quality natural ingredients and it's just very, um, it just is, just, it doesn't irritate my skin, it just doesn't do anything bad. The only potential negative I have to say about this is that it doesn't contain any SPF so if that is something you want in a moisturiser do bear that in mind this doesn't contain SPF. Um, another product from Organic Surge and it's another facial moisturiser. This is the Super Intensive Daily Moisturiser and this is for a dry skin. So this is something that I tended to use in the evening and I found it to be a very deeply nourishing kind of moisturiser and that suited me to use as a nighttime moisturiser. There were times when my skin was feeling particularly dry and in need of a little bit of extra hydration and I did indeed just wear this in the morning too under my makeup and I have found that it did a really good job. Um, I really enjoyed this. This one smelled of a very kind of definite rose scent which again I did enjoy but if you're not so keen on rose scents maybe this isn't going to be the one for you. Um, this again cost me just a couple of pounds when I bought it in the sale a while ago and I think it usually retails for around eight pounds and again it's another product that I definitely will bear in mind to repurchase at some point in the future. Um, another product I have really enjoyed using is the Apivita Cleansing Purifying Tonic Lotion for Oily and Combination Skin. And that's a very fancy title, but it's basically just a toner, but it's a very nice toner. This was very refreshing. Again, it smelled very citrusy, but very pleasant. I'm not normally overly keen on citrusy scents, but some citrusy scents are just very pleasant. I did enjoy using this, it didn't do anything bad to my skin at all, and I feel like it even helped to clear up my skin a little bit because it contains propolis, which is like a bee ingredient, kind of a bit like honey, and it's very good for acne prone skin, so I really enjoyed this. and. The only thing that's stopping me go out and immediately repurchasing it is that it's kind of pricey, so I'll put it on my wish list for some point in the future. <laughs> um, okay, then we have a more budget orientated product, and this is the Creighton's Perfectly Clear Purifying Facial Scrub. I really enjoyed this, it contains salicylic acid, and it was just a very nice gentle scrub, it wasn't anything too harsh. And I've tried a few other skincare bits from this line and found them to be very nice. This is a very budget brand. It retails for about a pound. You can get it from places like Home Bargains and Pound Shops. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes out. And if you want to try out some new budget skincare, why not give this brand a go? Because I for one quite like it. And then we've got a couple of lush items here and unfortunately these are items that I didn't manage to use up before 
really they need throwing away. First of all, we have the Mask of Magnamati, um, which is just a traditional, good old, thick kind of face mask that you slap on and it dries and then you wash it off. Really enjoyed it, very minty, very refreshing, very cooling on the skin. Contains um, some kind of scrubby bits so that when you rinse it off you also kind of get a little bit of exfoliation at the same time. It was really nice, I have no idea why I didn't use this up. I suspect it probably had something to do with the fact that I was saving it. Which is really never a good idea. And sometime in the meantime, it decided to dry up and I don't want to use it anymore. So <laughs> that is that. Definitely something I would repurchase in the future, but there are so many other lush face masks that I am yet to try. Um, another product that I'm having to throw away before finishing is the Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. And this contains some really interesting ingredients like thyme, rosemary, tea tree infusion, aloe vera gel, so really really good ingredients. There's lavender oil in there and all sorts, witch hazel, so it should really just be very good for any breakouts. Um, I don't really know why I didn't use this up, I think it probably had something to do with being lazy and just not applying it very often. But anyway, it didn't wow me, but Nevertheless, a useful product if you are having any breakouts. Um, another moisturiser, this is the Beauty Lab Smart Defence Daily Moisturiser. And this does contain SPF, it has SPF 20. This is a delight to use, it's a very expensive product, um, which is why I only have a little sample here. But it was just really lovely and I adore this sample, it's like a mini kind of pump dispenser and everything. It's just so cute. I really enjoyed that. And I do have a full size version of that as well, which I cannot wait to start using because I love it. Um, here we have a little tin of this Nivea cream. This is just a classic. It works if you've got like any dry patches. Good for your elbows, good for your knees, good for your face, good for wherever, but it's it's very greasy, so <laughs> definitely something I would use like overnight. I wouldn't put this on my face and then apply makeup on top. No way. That that would not work for me. Um, my skin's not that dry. But if you have really dry skin, that might just be what you need, even as a um, daytime moisturiser. But it's only something I would use at night. Then I have a really random facial toner. No idea what this is. No idea what's in it. No idea how long I've had it or why I have it. So it's just gonna go. I do not need that in my life anymore. Um, now I've got some face masks. Um, here we have quite an interesting one. This is a blackhead killer face mask. And this is actually a black face mask. It's a peel off face mask. And you kind of, it kind of works a bit like a nose pore strip in that you put it on, let it dry, and then you peel it off. And when you peel it off, it kind of takes all of the badness with it any blemishes, any dirt, any goodness knows what that you don't want to have on your skin, this kind of sucks out and gets rid of it all. It's a really quite interesting product, I do enjoy it. The only thing I have to be um, cautious about is that it says to leave it on for 10 minutes and really 10 minutes is more than enough. The first time I used one of these I left it on for more than 10 minutes, I think I probably left it on for 20 and by that point peeling it off was just... It was so painful, it felt like it was glued to my face, <laughs> so <laughs> I really do like these but boy, um, it does certainly do what it says on the tin and it can be painful if you leave it on for too long but it's an interesting product and quite a nice product too, I do enjoy using them from time to time. Then I have a Montage Jeunesse little sample um, fruit smoothie face mask, this is a deep cleansing mask and I really enjoyed this. Normally the Montag Jeunesse sachets have enough for two uses so this little I think five or six mil sample was more than enough for one usage. It was a really nice face mask much like a traditional kind of mud face mask one that goes on it's quite thick and it dries kind of hard and then you wash it off. It was really nice. I enjoyed it and I would definitely use that one again. Then I have a couple of little face masks from Avon. I have the Planet Spa Dead Sea Minerals Facial Mud Mask and the Planet Spa Mediterranean Olive Oil Hydrating Face Mask in there just 
they're just quite nice little basic face masks that I like to use from time to time. And then <laughs> I have a ton of face wipes here. Um, they're not face wipes, they're baby wipes, but hey, you know, if it's good enough for a baby's bum, it's good enough for my face. I don't actually use these to sort of take off my makeup and then just leave it at that. I like to just go in there with a face wipe to sort of get the bulk of my makeup off and then I'll always go in with a proper cleanser, do a proper cleanse and just make sure it's all gone and then tone and moisturise afterwards. Um, I also use these for kind of removing swatches and just goodness knows what else. They're really handy. Um, I am enjoying the Huggies ones at the moment as you can tell. Probably my, my favourite so far are the Huggies Pure and um, they're really nice. And the Tesco Value Baby Wipes are pretty decent for just a very cheap baby wipe. I um, also have a random hand wipe pack here, a couple of random cotton pad packets. Um, some Asda ones and some Tesco ones, they're very pretty decent and then just a totally random thing here is just some Oral-B Essential Floss and I do like this floss, it's got a coating on it so it's kind of quite smooth and it doesn't get caught. I hate using floss that gets stuck between your teeth and you have to really pull it. Um, so I really quite enjoy using this floss and that is it. That is my facial skincare empties. Don't ask me why there's dental floss in there. It's just in there. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon with lots of other videos I've got up and coming. Including my makeup empties. Bye for now.